Prime Minister left Dhaka for Saudi Arabia to attend international conference on women in Islam. The much awaited metro rail service from Uttara to Motichir started today. People thanked PM. BNP and its allies observing the second round of 48 hour blockade. Awamalik leaders are allowed in several areas. Assalamu alaikum, welcome to my TV news. I'm Farhan Ismail with the news and today watching headlines, not the details. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has left Dhaka for Saudi Arabia to attend the International Conference on Women in Islam. The plane carrying the Prime Minister left Dhaka Hazrat Shah Jalal International Airport at 9.40 a.m. She will arrive at the Prince Muhammad bin Abdul Aziz International Airport in Medina at 1.30 p.m. local time. Saudi Arabia is organizing this conference on November 6 to 8 in coordination with the headquarters of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, YC. The conference will discuss five issues and publish the, the document on women in Islam. The much awaited metro rail service from Uttara to Motijil started today. Initially, the metro rail will run for four hours every day from 7.30 a.m. to 11.30 p.m. on the Uttara Motijil section. And Uttara Agarga section will continue till 8.30 p.m. The Agarga Motijil route has metro rail stop at Farmgate. Now, the Secretariat and Motijil, a train is available every 10 minutes. So the fair church created at the time of Integration of Uttara Agarga section of MRT Line 6 is being followed for Uttara Motichil section as well. People are very happy to reach their destination in less time, even though there is some delay in booking the tickets. The new section has saved working hours, and the country is benefiting from economic growth. For the first time, a train traveled directly from Chittagong to Cox's Bajar to inspect the construction work and check whether the, there are any defects. The train left Chittagong the station with the eight coaches and one engine at 9 a.m. Railway Eastern General Manager Nazmul Islam and officials of Railway Inspection Department are in the train. The train will arrive at Duhajar Station. After that, it will leave for Cox's Bajar. The train reaches Cox's Bajar at 5 p.m. The director of the Duhajari Cox's Budget Railway Project, Subak Zin, said that the Honorable Prime Minister will come to Cox's Budget on November 11. There will be a peaceful gathering. See the iconic station and inaugurate a section. BNP and its allies parties are observing the second round of 48-hour blockade of roads, railways and waterways across the country. However, since morning, working people have come out on the road in search of livelihood. However, the number of public transport is somewhat less, so there is suffering. On the other hand, due to the fear of fire, the bus drivers were seen taking extra precautions, including closing the bus windows due to security reasons. Private cars are less. The members of the law and order forces are in alert position along with the police at various places of the safety of the city dwellers. Awamalik leader and activists have taken a position in front of the central office at Awamalik at Dhanmondi and Bangabundu avenues to prevent anarchy due to the blockade called by BNP Jamaat. They took a cautious position in front of the office after 9 a.m. Leaders and activists say that the BNP wants to sabotage the elections and harm people's lives in the name of sabotage. They want to destabilize the country. They are on guard against this violence. Voting from Brahman Baria 2 and Lokipur 3 constituency has ended. Voting starts from 8 a.m. till 4 p.m. Voting is both seats is on ballot. Law and order forces are working in the field since Saturday to keep the polling environment fair and smooth. Along with the RAP police, the executive message is patrolling. According to the election commission, there are 4 lakh 10,112 voters in 135 centers in Brahman Baria 2 constituency and in Lokipur 3 constituency. The total number of voters in 115 centers and 4,3744 people.
We are about to the end headlines once again. Prime Minister left Dhaka for Saudi Arabia to attend the International Conference on Women in Islam. The much awaited metro rail service from Uttara to Mutisha started today. People thanked PM. BNP and its allies observing the second round of 48 hour blockade. Awamic leaders are allowed in several areas. Turkey withdrew its ambassador from Israel and the attack in Fuji camp killed 51. Manchester City crashed AFC Bournemouth 6 1 in EPL. Manchester United beat Fulham 1 0. Thanks for being with us to join with MyTV News online. Visit YouTube slash MyTV News to watch all our programs. Visit YouTube slash MyTV Bangla, Facebook slash MyTV Bangla. Our next to go to will be taken at 7 30 pm. Stay connected and Allah Hafiz.